And tonight after this tragedy in Lebanon, we are talking to the owner of a local gun store about important safety reminders that all gun owners need to hear. Advice he says will save lives. RTV6's Nicole Griffin is in Lebanon tonight with a story that could impact all of us. The owner here at Eberhardt Ballistics in downtown Lebanon works with brand new gun owners and people who've had guns for many years. But one thing he always stresses is the safety of locking up your guns. This is a very simple way. It's a gun lock that comes free with every gun he sells. Lock that slide back. Look in here and make sure that there's, there's nothing in the chamber. Rich Hornay is the owner of Eberhard Ballistics in Lebanon. He's walking me through safety steps that gun owners should know to avoid accidents and save lives. Take this cable, put it all the way through the magwell, bring it back around, log it. Hornay grew up in Lebanon and opened his store two years ago. Hearing about the tragedy just blocks away is difficult. It's tragic. Uh, I, I cringe every time I hear something going on like that, no matter whether it's here or anywhere else. And I hate to see kids you know, hurt because of somebody's irresponsibility. Hornay realizes kids are curious and can get a hold of guns easily if the owners are not taking safety steps, like using trigger locks and gun safes. So this is your standard handgun vault. He says it's irresponsible to leave a gun in an unlocked drawer or on a table. He encourages parents to have a conversation with their children about the dangers of guns so they can alert them if another child gets a hold of one. I mean, if it's already loaded and cocked, um, you know, just pulling the trigger is not that difficult. Lebanon police also taking time to push this important safety message as well. I can't stress how important it is to make sure if you own a firearm that it is safe at all times. The police department does have gun locks available to give out to the community a simple step that could save a life. Nicole Griffin, RTV6.